Hello everyone. Welcome to today with Ness and Cray. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And now on to today's topic. Yeah. Living with parents. <laughs> How do y'all feel about that? Let us know. Or not. <laughs> it's completely up to y'all. But, um, I guess I don't really see nothing wrong with it. Um,. I think my take on it is like once you like once you do reach a certain age and you just can't do it no more that's the time to move out like I wouldn't move out just because I'm 18 and legal <laughs> or 21 and want to do whatever I want to do like I would wait you know until I'm just 100% ready till I just really can't do it no more so, and I mean this everyone has their own breaking points at different mm -hmm. ages you know and if you're 23 25 you know and you get along with your parents okay that's less responsibilities on you but you know I do feel like living on your own it does mold you into a responsible adult but I guess you just don't want to do it too soon because a lot of people feel like well once I move out that's it I don't want to have to come back and you don't want to have to come back unless it's just necessary. But you don't want it to be because you can't take care of yourself. So. I agree. <laughs> it definitely has its pros and cons. But overall, it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I get along with my parents to a point. Um, I do feel like some, you know, like there are different types of households. You got some parents; they treat you according to your age, but then you have some that tend to treat you. <laughs> Like you stuck in this 16 year old, you know, position where you have to, you know, like get permission to do things or you have to do this in order to do that. When you are an adult, you should be able to go and come as you please, you know. I feel like as long as you're respecting their rules, I mean, because there are rules wherever you go, mm -hmm. you know. Um, as far as, well, I don't want you coming in my house at 3 o'clock in the morning. I don't see nothing wrong with it. respecting, you know, those rules. Because technically, you are still living under their house, right. under their roof. That's what we so, need to understand. That even though you're a certain age, yeah. if it's not your house, you're going to have to abide by right the rules exactly so, i mean but that's anywhere like when you move yeah. into an apartment, apartment yeah. you have to abide by those rules mm -hmm. like you can't be super 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 loud you can't have a house party and think that you know somebody not gonna complain about noise right. even when you move into your first house like especially if you renting yeah, there are mm. rules that you have to follow. If your landlord don't want you painting the rooms in the house, then you can't paint the rooms. I mean, it's just... I guess a lot of people tend to think 
well, I can't wait to get out on my own so I can do what I want to do. You can do what you want to do to a certain extent. You can't just go about life doing whatever the heck you want to do. It doesn't work like that. Yeah. And trust me, living on your own is not all that it's caked up to be. Because <laughs> it is stressful. <laughs> It is stressful. Bills. Oh God, don't have a car note. You want cable? You want to eat? It's a lot. It is a lot. I'm just here to shed some light on the situation. What are your personal feelings? Like living at home right now? Are you ready to move? Or can you see yourself being there for a couple more years? A couple more years? No. Because it's just time for me to transition yeah. into my own. But I mean it's cool. It can be overwhelming at times. But it's nothing that's just like I can't deal with this anymore. Right. I gotta go. Yeah. Yeah. I but mm -hmm. my mom is She's just like, whatever. Of course. Yeah. You know your cousin. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it at that. <laughs> oh. Oh. Just gonna, yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's not the worst. So, I mean, I'm grateful that they'll that they're still allowing me to live there. Right. So, I'm not going to complain about it. Yeah, and that's the other thing. The other part about it. It can always be worse than what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I know with my parents, sometimes, you know, they would, like, just be a little bit too overboard with... I never had an issue with coming home at a decent hour or watching my younger siblings or cleaning up or anything like that but I guess like the older I got it did get to where I felt like okay now you just being a little bit mm -hmm. too overboard with this and I feel like you know instead of because they're gonna always be your parents Instead of looking at it like parent-child because you're not a child anymore, you should look at it as, okay, we're adults. We should be able to work together and try to figure out how we can survive being around each other. And I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's like once you really just look at the situation that you're in, whatever the situation may be, if you're not sleeping under a bridge or going weeks without having a whether it's a home cooked meal or you know whatever the case may be your situation could really be it could always be worse than what it is and it's really gonna get you know you all through a lot just being able to say those words to yourself it could always be worse it could always be worse i can stand to deal with this a little bit longer i don't have to just rush out on my own and then turn around six months later i'm right back under my mama mm -hmm. you know that's going to get you through a lot especially if you're going through a situation where you're just always at odds with your parents that's going to really get you through and parents are they a trip they are something but I feel like at the end of the day, when you just really like reevaluate 
who's really there for you? Your parents. Especially if they're not trying to kick you out. You know, trying to say, okay, we feed yourself. <clears throat> now, mama, daddy, mama, daddy. Mama, mama, daddy, daddy, they gon' they gonna be there, you know, they gonna be there, they gonna make sure that you're not, you know, just out here struggling. So oh, it could always be worse. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> Okay, so she's faded away. <laughs>